Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to fix your HitRon modem if it's blinking green. First, let's understand what the blinking green light means. The downstream light on your HitRon modem has three states, flashing green, solid green, and solid blue. Flashing green, the modem is searching for a downstream frequency. Solid green, it has locked onto a single frequency. Solid blue, it's successfully bonded with multiple frequencies. This is the ideal state. If your modem is stuck with a flashing or solid green light, something's wrong. Here's how you can fix it. Step 1. Check for ISP outages. Contact your internet service provider, ISP, to see if there's an outage in your area. If there is, you'll need to wait for them to resolve it. Step 2. Power cycle your modem. First unplug your modem. 2. Wait for 5 to 10 minutes. 3. Plug it back in. This simple step can often fix the issue. Step 3. Factory reset. If the light is still not turning solid blue, you might need to do a factory reset. Locate the reset button on your modem. Use a paperclip to press and hold the button for about 10 seconds. Release the button and wait for the modem to restart. The upstream light works similarly. It should also be solid blue for optimal performance. Troubleshoot it the same way if it's blinking or solid green. The status light indicates the modem's connection to the service provider. Like the downstream and upstream lights, it should be solid blue. If you're using a wired connection, check the LAN light. It should be solid green or blue. If it's not turning on, ensure the Ethernet cable is firmly connected. For wireless connections, the wireless light should be solid green. If it's off, make sure your modem is configured for wireless and check for ISP issues. Lastly, the USB light should be green if the USB port is functioning properly. If it's off, check the USB connection or try a different device. And that's how you fix a HitRon modem with a blinking green light. If these steps don't work, you might need to contact your ISP for further assistance. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech tips.